All right, so we're looking at the scapula here, and you need to be able to tell the right from the left scapula. So the way I'm going to be able to tell the scapula from the right from the left is by two different ways. This is called the scapula spine. That's right here. And the scapula spine is always going to be posterior. And then I have my glenoid cavity. That's right here. The glenoid cavity always has to face lateral. So if this is posterior and this is lateral, this is going to be my right my right scapula here. That's the only way this will work. If we look at some more of this, below my scapula spine, I have this area in here, which we're gonna call the infraspinous fossa. So that's the infraspinous fossa right there. And then above my scapula spine, I'm gonna have my supraspinous fossa. So that's my supraspinous fossa right there. If we go along the scapula spine some more, and we come out to the end, you'll notice this structure right here. That's my acromium. And then in the front, we have another process, and this is my coracoid process, which is right here. So that's the coracoid process. Then if we were to look, this is going to be my superior border right here. This is going to be my medial border all along here. This is the inferior border, or some people call it the inferior angle of the scapula. And this is the lateral border that's right here. And in case I didn't mention it, this is my subscapula fossa that's going to be right here. So that's it for the scapula. Thanks for watching.